Okay, let's see what we've got today. What is today? Today is doozily. Oh, I'm gonna like this one, I have this feeling. Okay, this is by Suzanne Christophe. Christa. Chrisafi. There's no T in there. Chrisafi. Chrisafi. CZT. Um, start out with a row of circles. And the S shape. So you're starting out with a cadent like tangle, right? The cadent based. Um, two auras on this side. On the other side, one aura, but bigger so that it's about the same width as these two together. It appears. Um, then we do some little curves on the big fatter side. And then we add some little petal shapes on the inside and the outside. And it looks like that. I like it. You knew I would like that. So let's see what we can do to incorporate that tangle into string number 23. Let's see. How can I do that? Kind of depends on where I start my circles. Now, don't it? Um, I think they'll go along here, this way, and I'm going to make a pretty good size. Cold again today. You know, once you get cold, it's hard to get warm. Oh. Ah, oh, you are way out of. I didn't back you up there. All right. So I'm going along. You see my string. You see string number 23. I'm just going to go along here and then do something in here. We'll see what happens. Uh, I was saying, once I get cold, I have a hard time getting warm again. Once I'm warm, usually I'm hot. But when I'm cold, I have a hard time getting warm again. I don't know why. So this is going to be cadent-like with the S's. Like that. And then on one side, which side do I want to use? On one side is up and around that twice something in that order I've noticed I went from nice and wide and long to scrunchier and squinchier. That's okay. And then we'll just turn it around and do the same move again, but bigger. Because we want one big swoopy one instead of two smaller ones. So really big and wide and around. Right? Pretty much. My hand is not drawing very well today. I think it's because it's cold. It's kind of shaky, but that's all right. I'm not the only one with a shaky hand. Okay, so then we want to do these sort of stripes on this one. Right? So 
So what it says, stripes. Okay, and then on those stripes we want to color in. I'm going to change pens to a little bit thicker so it doesn't take quite as long to color in the stripe. I'm going to leave a little bit of sparkle in the middle. It doesn't take much to leave that little bit of sparkle. Oh, speaking of sparkle, somebody shared with me that they used my sparkle video as a as a uh, launching spot. They did an awesome job. I love to see you guys' work. So if you would like to share with me, please do. Um, my Facebook page is listed in the description. Um, you can go to Draw Tangles with Dawn at face on Facebook or join any of the bigger Zentangle groups, um, I'm in many of them. Not all of them. There are too many different groups out there and they all have different rules. Um, I really like Shading Zentangle, uh, moderated by Annie Oaken. She has taught me so much and, and my tangling has gotten better. I, I knew I could draw but it's the shading part that has really, um, I've learned a lot from watching and uh, participating in that particular group. But you have to remember, in that group, there are certain guidelines. You have to read the guidelines. Don't be posting stuff that will make her irritated because, you know, it's not cool to go into a group and then not follow the guidelines. Just not cool. Pattern Collections, no, Tangle It Pattern Club is the other one that's really awesome. That, that one um, is where I am getting the daily patterns. So um, if you're interested in the daily patterns, absolutely go to uh, Tangle It Pattern Club on Facebook. That is where you will find daily patterns and other people posting their interpretations of the daily pattern because, you know, uh, my one interpretation is not the only one. And as a matter of fact, if I drew the same tangle again, it would look totally different. So, you know, each time I draw it, it's, it's going to morph. It's going to do its own thing. And um, for the most part, my tiles I do for this are all mono tangles. But if I am doing it my own work, you've seen my work. I've flipped through my journals. Um, you know, they're mix and match. They're all sorts of different things. So, all right. So then the other thing we need to do to finish this off is to do the little um, petal-like things right in there. Those are really cool. You'll notice they don't have to be all going the same way. 
Mine rarely do. And these ones I'm gonna make, I've got lots of space out here, so I'm gonna just bring them all out like, like that. Just give it a, a big place to live here, right? Awesomeness. That's spectacular. Oh, I love it. Now, what to do with the roundish part of this string. And I am feeling to just do like two. Do one here, do one here, and just really give it a Nice, big Just sort of one Like that I think that will be great and I think I want smaller stripes Decide that it's this one. I'll start in the middle this time. Put my coloring in. And because it's the smaller stripes, I went ahead and left, stayed with my pen that I was using instead of changing over. Because there's not that much surface area like in the bigger, wider stripe. go that way can your sparkle have a curve absolutely your sparkle can have a curve okay something like that and then it needs some petals like this tangle. Oh, I'm so excited. I like on this sort of flux thing to do this. Don't know why, but I do. So I'm going to do that on here. Even though it's not shown in the sample. But I like it. Okay. Oh, I find that super fun. Okay. Super, super, super fun. And this one's going to live with the... Circle part on this corner. 
Okay, what was this? What was this little guy's name? Little guy's name is Doozily. D O O Z A L Y. And I'm on string 23. Slide it in here, and I'm going to erase my string. Here we go. Needs a little shading. And then we'll be done. Look how fast that went. That was a quick one. Okay, a little bit of shading in here where the pedal meets the metal here. I think a little in there. Some right in there. Okay, a little bit in here, some right in here, some right in there, and a bit on that. Okay. Looking good. Right. There we go. I think we've done it. I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, hope you were following along. It's really easy one to do. Just lots of curvy, flowy lines. I love the curvy, flowy lines. You guys know that. That's how come it's a shorter video. You can always tell I'm having great time when I go fast. You'd think it would be the other way around. You'd think the, uh, I would be having a great time when I was taking a long time to do my drawing. It's the other way around. When it goes fast, that means I've had a blast and it was easy to do. You guys have a great day. Do something nice for yourself today, um, as Gina Aaron says, because you deserve it. Um, be a blessing to somebody today. Hopefully you get out of the house and you're able to actually see some other people. I know that some people are homebound and they don't actually have a lot of interaction with people outside their home. And for those people, I encourage you to get on the internet and say something nice to one of your Facebook friends or, you know, uh, comment on a YouTube channel or whatever it is that you're doing. Because I know you're on YouTube because you're listening to me. So, uh, you know, get out there, do something nice for somebody else. You can still do it even if you're stuck in the house. You can. You can make this world a better place. I'll see you tomorrow.